Welcome to Revelation Church Online. We pray you'll be blessed and encouraged by today's message. Feel free to hit the red subscribe button and bell icon in the lower right hand side of your screen to get the latest videos as soon as they're released. Now here's today's word. If God is for us, who is against us? So that's the, that we, we need to ingrain that into our hearts. Okay, so we turn with me to the book of Luke, chapter 10. And I know that you know that, but it's good to be reminded. You know, uh, the Apostle Paul, no, the Apostle John goes over there and said, the, re- the reason why I speak to you, not that because you don't know, but because you know. So we, so we can be reminded together. Okay, the book of Luke, chapter 19. Uh, I'm sorry, chapter 10, verse 19. Behold, I have given you authority to tread on serpents and on scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. Over, uh, I'm sorry, uh, what? You have given us the power over all the power of the enemy. Is this what you're saying? Or, or? Yes, it's exactly what he says. Look, and nothing will injure you. Do you believe that? Kiss goodbye, the falling of, of, of granite on your foot. F- forget going to the, which by the way is a miracle, uh, going to the ER for 24 hours. Because the Lord will protect you, the Lord is with you. So that is, a, to me, I have given you authority, I have given you the power, I have given you the, uh, the control, I have given you the power decision over. Everything the enemy can throw at you. So we start from a position of a winner. We are not attacked by the enemy. You know, this is not how it works. You know, sometimes, it, it, yeah, well, you see, he's uh, pursuing me. I don't know when he's going to get me. And once he is getting me, who knows? Wait, this is not the kingdom speaking. The kingdom speaking is not, a man or God doesn't speak like that, or a woman, you know, but he speaks like that uh, because he's a baby, you see? A little baby will speak like that, well, you, know, you know, my dad, you know, but not a mature man of God, he doesn't. So everyone in this room here, You have been receiving, you have received the authority of God. Oh my God, if I only believe that. Uh, But you need to believe that. Not only you need to believe that, you need to put into practice. You know, with obedience comes blessing. And this is the word action. Uh, Faith without word, uh, without action. Faith without obedience, that's what it means. Remember, we talk about so many times the, uh, uh, the uh, as we say, uh, the, the, the father, uh, Abraham, did not receive his son until he put him, uh, until he became obedient to God. He, he didn't say, you know, me, I'm a man of faith. Hey, stop, hey, I, I'm a man of faith. You are a man of faith? Did you be God? And yes, of course, the answer is yes in this case. He goes over there, and, and I repeat the same thing again, but it's so important. And as he's about to obey God, finally God says, oh, stop it. I know that you're fearing God now. Now, now you fear God. No one you say you're a man of faith. You see, or a woman of faith. Are you hearing me, tell me? I'm a great man of faith. I'm going to do that. Hey, what is it that you're doing? You're sitting in one place. Uh, so the Lord wants obedience. And, and, and the word obedience, there's the word action. And the word action, there's the word energy. Remember that. Energy, I call that. Uh, it's the word energy. The energy is in the faith. As you start moving in one direction, God will be like, He will guide you. He will be like, uh, this way. And as you move, you go this way. But if you stand still, I'm a man of great faith. Nobody has great faith than me, greater faith than me. You're going nowhere by doing that. So put yourself into action, into uh, 
obedience. And, and then now this is the statement of God through Christ Jesus, by the way. You know, I've given you authority. You have everything. Everything is subjected to you. And, and then I, I don't even know what they're thinking. So we're going to go and, and see. At the very same time, at the, at the very time, Jesus rejoiced greatly in the Spirit and said, I praise you, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, that you have hidden these things from the wise and intelligent and have revealed them to infants. Infants. An infant is someone that is prone to uh, learning. You know, you see a little Tiago, any, any of those beautiful kids, uh, Nick, uh, whoever, uh, Alex, uh, uh, they, they're willing to learn. They, they, that's the reason why God said, they don't stop, they're coming to me. Why are you stopping them? Meaning they were open to learning. Now, the old man or old woman in the church today, no, no, in Revelation Church, but many times they're like, oh my, no, that's it, me, I learned that, and, and, and I'm good. Yeah, like, wow. You know, I remember told you, you this lady we met in Texas. She, she, was, she was a lovely lady, don't get me wrong, but she said, well, I'm going to this church, you're 65 years old, for 65 years, and, and, and uh, you know, to me, I, I never heard a non-denominational church on it. You never heard? She said, no, no, I, I never heard. I don't know what to do there. M meaning we are, we are this type of church. You know, she said, I, I don't know what they're doing. You see, so for her, it's like, okay. And I'm not blaming her, but. So yes, Father, for this way was well pleasing in your sight. Can you imagine this is the way? This is pleasing to God. And here, of course, there's some sort of a sarcasm. Sar sarcasm, I say. Uh, when he said, why isn't he intelligent? You know, of course, he, he, he's, uh, God is making it. You know that God is the author, by the way, of jokes. You know, it, it, he's like, uh, yeah, the wise and the intelligent there. <laughs> of course, you, you know what he means. But he has revealed to infants. Wow. Turning to the disciples, Jesus said privately, Blessed are the eyes which see the things you see. He goes to, to you know, particularly to the, his disciples. And, and they're like, well, bless our eyes. Or? For I say to you that many prophets and kings wish to see the things you see and did not see them. And to hear the things you hear and did not hear them. Can you imagine the prophets and the kings of yesteryear, of prior, uh, uh, Jesus, the, the Messiah, the Messiah, they wanted to see the things. They want to hear, but they couldn't. You know why, you, you know why they, they couldn't hear? Because the Holy Spirit was not, when I say the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit in fullness had not been given to mankind, except through the Son of God, the firstborn. Okay? Who will not separate us from the love of Christ? Will tribulation, and, and, and this is, listen, listen, listen to me. This is, this is in, um, uh, how do we say this? Uh, the, the, it's sort of a poison that is spread in order for you to believe uh, the falsehood. It's some sort of narrative that is out there. Uh, and you're going to recognize what I mean in two, two minutes, in, in one minute actually. World tribulation, distress, persecution, famine, nakedness, peril, sword, sword against you, that is. Just as it's written, for your sake we are being put to death all day long. And a lot of people, listen, for me for years, I used to be like, oh my God. Okay, all right, we're, gonna, we're all going to die, I know it. 
enemy is going to come. Man. And one day they'll say, what are you doing? What is it you're doing? I say, what do you mean what I'm doing? I, 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 this is the word of God, is it? And God says, read it. Read it and meditate and think about it. For your sake, we are being put to death all day long. It makes sense, right? So all day long, you, oh, when I say something like that, what, what goes through your mind? You, you see the army coming with the sword in your head, right? You, you see that? You used to see that. We were considered as sheep to be slaughtered. I mean, oh my God. You know, persecution can come anytime, brother. You know, they can come, they're going to go, and you, who are you, you preacher? Oh my God. Really? And then God revealed to me, but in all these things, are you ready for that? We overwhelmingly, what overwhelming mean? I need a teacher, not here. Another, another teacher. <laughs> What does overwhelming mean? Look, we overwhelmingly conquer through him who loved us. Uh, so is it okay if I go back one more slide? Look, for your sake we are being put to death all day long. We were considered, considered, as sheep to be slaughtered. <coughs> now, to be, is there a difference between being considered and actually being slaughtered. All of a sudden, I'm like, oh, we were considered, but God did not allow us. You know, oh, are you going to come up with you? You know, no more I'm starting now, no more questioning. Really? You, you, now you're going against the word of God. But he will go and, and he will be looking. Uh, it is written, uh, you, you're put to death all day long. Hello, you're considered a sheep. You're wrong. Because look at what my Jesus said, or my father. But in all, all those things, we overwhelmingly, overwhelmingly conquer. Through him who loved us. I, I, I got so strong much stronger, getting up with that. I hope the same for you. For I'm convinced that, now he goes on now, neither, neither, neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principality, nor things present, nor things to come, no powers of the enemy that is here. No height, no death, no, no anything created thing. Listen, we will be, a, will be able to separate it from the love of God which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. So when you hear, when you hear, uh, study now, uh, we, you guys are going to miss, uh, we're not going to be able to produce the cloth. It's an example. Your, your jeans are gone. Uh, 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 your underwear, bye-bye. Uh, <laughs> your shirts, say go back to it. You know, we, we went the other day when, with Shaw, uh, we went to uh, Honda, you know, she has a Honda. And we go over there and uh, we, we, we're trying to get, um, she's listening to the call. Okay, fine. And, and, and the guy all of a sudden gives us, it's okay, for sure. Uh, so he's like, oh no, see, now we don't have any calls. What do you mean you don't have any calls? So we have 15 in the back. And I said, but it's so ugly. I mean, uh, I'm sorry, but compared to the one here, yeah, she has. She said, well, but this, what, this is coming from, uh, from uh, Japan. You know, it's really restricted. What do you mean? It's a, this, you, you want to sell us a lesser car. Ah, I know, but this way it is now. And, and I look across, uh, there, there was a station. You know, last time I, I put my, my gas in there, it was 301. <laughs> I look over there, it's like a 345. Whoa, what's going on? Why? So, nothing shall be able to separate you. Because your heavenly Father is your source. Amen. I know if you understand me. If you think you're, try to understand, if you think 
your source is your bank account and your boss and your money. If you think that, you go down. But now if you think, and I know you do here at Revelation Church, if you know then your source is your God. By the way, he has an unlimited Unlimited amount of, of money, and, and I'm sitting at, at home, I'm like, all of a sudden I hear him and I say, what, what is your problem? Why are you acting like that? I, I was getting mad at the man, uh, in a good way. Uh, and, and he said, even, if, let's say it's like $600, it's an example, $800, $1,500 a month. I'm not able to provide that for you. And for you, and for you, and for you, and for you, and for, you, for all of you. You see, so all of a sudden I'm like, you are more than conqueror. If I am with you, who can be against you? Honda can be against me. Uh, Coca-Cola can be against me. Uh, whoever else can be against me. You see, so the heritage of the servants of God, which you are, shall never be affected. You know why? Because the love of God is in Christ Jesus. Wow. What then shall we say to these things? If God is for us, who is against us? I want you guys to repeat that. After me, you repeat after me. If God is for us, who is against us? Let's do one more time. I'm not going to repeat all, but let's do one more time. If God is for us, who is against us? You know, because you're making a declaration. The enemy heard you like, oh my God. <laughs> you're making a declaration. He hears that. He's like, I'm done. <laughs> Good job. He who did not spare his own son, but deliver him over for a song. How will he not also with him freely give us all things? You know, how many believe Jesus is with you? You believe it? Jesus is inside of you. You believe that? Yes, I know you do. So he's, one more time, if, if God is with you in the form of Jesus, that is, uh, because, you know, Jesus Christ is the, the image. He's not God, the image. He is the image of God. It, it makes a difference. And in him resides all the fullness of God. You see? So once you, when you, the love of Christ is inside of you, woe to the person who tried to bring you down. I don't want to be him or her. I don't want to be. And I've seen over the years, you know, when, when sometimes someone decided they're going to come against you, I'm like, Lord, please, please help her, help him. You know, and, and God is able to, uh, to protect, or sometimes he doesn't. Not because he doesn't want to, because the person says, nope, nope, I'm not doing that way. So anyway, so th this is what I have for you today. Thank you for listening to this message. We encourage you to listen a few times in order to let what God revealed sink deeper into your heart and continue to renew your mind. For more information on Revelation Church and its services, please go to revelationchurchny.com. Here's how you can honor the Lord with your giving, as well as so into the ministry of Revelation Church. To give by text, Text any amount to 84321. To give online, visit revelationchurchny.com slash give. You can mail checks or cash to 14 Bellmead Avenue in Smithtown, New York. Please make all checks out to Revelation Church.